Welcome to this demonstration of using Oracle Database and Power BI Service. My name is Alex Key. I'm a product manager at Oracle, and I'll show you how to connect these two technologies with Microsoft Entry ID single sign-on. Now with this demonstration, I'm using Oracle Autonomous Database, but you can use any Oracle database on-premises or in the cloud. Now, ahead of time, I've set up an on-premises data gateway. And in this gateway, I've installed Oracle Client for Microsoft Tools. Oracle Client for Microsoft Tools includes Oracle Data Provider for .NET or ODP.NET. And ODP.NET provides that data connection between your Power BI service and your Oracle database. And once I've set up this connectivity, I set up my database to use Microsoft Entry ID single sign-on, as well as configure at least one user that can use those Entry ID credentials. Now, in this demonstration, I'm just going to show you how to set up the Power BI service side, but this is what I've done ahead of time. In the future, you won't have to complete steps two or three. ODP.NET will be included automatically with Power BI Service as well as Power BI Desktop. And that will also eliminate the need for having the gateway. Microsoft and Oracle are working very closely on this and we hope to deliver this enhancement by the end of 2025. To do the Power BI service setup, what you first need to do is enable Entry ID SSO for the data gateway itself on your cloud tenancy. By default, it's disabled. If you have cloud application administrator privileges, you can enable Entry ID SSO. Once you've done that, you can set up your connection. You'll go create the connection as an on-premises connection since we're going to be using the data gateway. And then we'll authenticate with OL20, enter in your SSO credentials, and then check the use SSO via Azure AD for direct query queries box. Once you do that, you've set up your connection and you, then you can create your app using those SSO credentials. So let's go ahead and create that application. Here I am in Power BI Service. Let's go ahead and ensure that our Enter ID credentials can be used for this application. So we're gonna to go to the settings admin portal. And in here, since there's a lot of settings to look through, we'll just type in Entra, and that will allow us to just filter only the Entra ID settings. So we can see under integration settings, Microsoft Entra for single sign-on on the data gateway. I've already enabled this, but by default, it's disabled. If you're using this for the first time, you'll enable it and then click apply. It'll take a little bit of time to apply it to your tenancy, but once it's done, you'll be able to use Entra ID SSO. Once you're done with that, let's go ahead and create the connection to the Oracle database. So here we are in the connections and gateways screen. We're gonna go ahead and create a new connection to our Oracle database. This is on-premises. We'll choose our cluster. I have a cluster called Alex Gateway. So we'll choose that. Then we'll give it a connection name, call it Oracle Entra ID. We'll then go ahead and indicate the connection type is Oracle since we're going to an Oracle database and then give the server name. And in this case, it'll be ADB. And this server name can be your net service name, your connect descriptor, your easy connect plus string. And in this case, I've already set up this ADB net service name to reference my connect descriptor. So we'll use that. Then the authentication method is OAuth20 since we're using Enter ID. And now we have to enter in our Enter ID credentials. Now I've already logged on to my Microsoft account. So I just need to select it. You can see I'm signed in. So we'll just click that and we should be able to connect with these credentials already. So once we're completed with that, we check the box to use SSO via Azure AD and then we hit create and this will go ahead and create my connection. So once that's done, it should show up in this connections and gateways window and we can see that my Oracle Enter ID, which I've created is now in place. So we're just gonna check the status to make sure it's working and we see that it's online, so that's great. So let's go and create an app using this. So go to my workspace and we'll create a new item and this will be a Dataflow Gen 2. So we're gonna connect our Power BI service with an Oracle database here. So we'll call it Oracle Dataflow. We'll create that. Let's go ahead and connect to our Oracle database. So I'm gonna choose Oracle for my item that I'm gonna create and it's gonna be a data source and then we choose that ADB server connection name that I've given it before. And we can see that we have a couple entries here. The one I created, if you remember, is Oracle Enter ID. So we can select that. We can now try to connect to that. And you can see that we've connected to the Oracle database. We can see on the left side, the schema objects that I have access to. So I know there's a sales history schema here. So we're gonna connect to that and take a look at the different tables we can view. Let's choose a few of these that we want to return. What the screen allows you to do is just see some of the data that you'll be able to retrieve. And now that we've finished selecting the tables that we want, we can go ahead and click Create. And those objects will get created for the data flow. That data will be retrieved to your application, as you can see here. Here's the channels table. And once you're done, you can hit publish. That, in a nutshell, is how to connect to Oracle database using your Entry ID single sign-on credentials with Power BI service.